Hello and welcome to Just Bored, the show about computers, microcontrollers, and more. Today we'll take a look at the Pixel JS. This is a microcontroller-based development board that runs an NRF52832 system on a chip, which packs a 32-bit ARM processor that clocks in at 64 megahertz. For memory, the board has a total of 64 kilobytes of RAM, and for persistent storage, it offers 512 kilobytes of onboard flash. The board can be powered by inserting a battery into this holder, or by supplying power over this micro USB port. You can also supply power to one of the VN pins with anywhere between 3 to 16 volts. And these unpopulated pins right here are designed so that you can solder on a JST connector for a LiPo battery. The main feature of this board, of course, is the 128 by 64 pixel LCD display. But it also has built-in LEDs, which function as a backlight and are completely user programmable. There are four buttons on the board, two on each side of the screen, and they're positioned really well to be used for things like menu navigation. These are also user programmable. For networking, the board is equipped with Bluetooth Low Energy, provided by that NRF52 chip. This is useful for communicating with other nearby devices, and in fact you program the Pixel wirelessly using this Bluetooth interface. As far as expansion pins go, this board is designed to be compatible with the Arduino Uno. This means that if you have an Arduino shield, there's a pretty good chance you can plug it directly into the Pixel and use it as is. There are three ground pins, two 3.3 volt pins, one 5 volt pin, and one VN pin for supplying power. And for I.O., there are six analog input pins and 14 general purpose digital I.O. pins, all of which are capable of providing pulse width modulation, SPI, I2C, and UART interfaces. For software, the board comes loaded with the Esprino JavaScript interpreter, which is an open source implementation of JavaScript that's designed to run on embedded devices. I've talked about Esprino in previous videos because it's the same platform that powers these PuckJS devices as well as these Wi-Fi modules. So I won't go into too much detail about that here, but I've put links in the description if you're interested. Basically, it's JavaScript with some really good APIs for embedded applications. So if you've ever done any web development or Node.js programming, you're probably already familiar with it. You just need to learn a few basic API functions and you're good to go. So what's it for? One of my favorite uses for the Pixel is for interacting with other devices. In fact, it makes for a really good hub because it's so easy to create user interfaces and connect to other things over Bluetooth. You can directly control multiple other devices or display graphs and readouts from different sensors, all from one central location. And just having a built-in screen makes it really useful for any number of applications, like displaying the weather, displaying notifications from your computer or other devices, creating simple games. There's really all kinds of stuff you can do with this. So what isn't it for? The standard disclaimer applies here, as with any microcontroller board, this isn't a single board computer, so don't expect to run Ubuntu or Windows 10 or something. It's mostly designed to run your JavaScript code. That being said, the Esprino runtime does have most of the conveniences that you would expect from a typical JavaScript environment, such as scheduling, graphics APIs, HTTP client and server implementations, as well as a really thorough implementation of the ES6 feature set. Well, that's the Pixel JS. Go to the comments below and let me know what board you'd like to see covered next. Or let me know what types of projects you'd like to see built using the Pixel. And click through to the video on the left if you'd like to see this board in action.